Good morning to all of you. Yesterday we were doing continuous functions. We shall continue with the continuous functions and some more problems we will do and very important problems we are going to do. And those important problems are definite for examination. Some 5-6 problems are there and they are going to come in examination and you should not leave. I told you these are 4 more questions and definitely those questions will come and you should not leave those questions. Okay. Yesterday, we will continue from yesterday. You take this. Examine the continuity of Examine the continuity of the function of the function fx Examine the continuity of the function fx is equal to 2x if x less than 0, if x less than 0, 0, if 0 less than or equal to x, less than or equal to 1, so 2x comma if x less than 1, 0, if 0 less than or equal to x, less than or equal to 1, and 4x, it is 4x if x greater than one. If x is greater than 1. Very important question. And this question, examine the continuity of the function f of x equal to 2x if x less than 0, 0 if 0 less than or equal to x less than 1, and 4x if x greater than 1. Here, two points of continuity to be checked. Which are the two points to be checked? One is 0. Because x less than 0 put in there, 0 less than x and x greater than 0. At 0, you have to check. Then another point you have to check point of continuity is 1 because less than 1 put it there equal to also is given x greater than 1. Here you write point of continuity. First you write point of continuity to be checked. Point of continuity to be checked. Point of continuity to be checked at Two points are there at x equal to 0 and at x equal to 1. Two points to be checked. Points of continuity. One is at x equal to 0 because less than 0 greater than 0 put it there. Then less than 1 greater than 1 put it there. So point of continuity to be checked at x equal to 0 and x equal to 1. First we take first case at x equal to 0. At x equal to 0, first condition is whether it is function at x equal to 0 is defined at the normal Definitely 0 less than or equal to x the computer, or it is a greater than or equal to 0, it is defined it is 0. So first thing you should write f of x at x equal to 0 is defined or exists. That is f of 0 is c. They are given f of 0, 0 less than or equal to x is there put in there, f of x is 0 or f of 0, f of x equal to 0 the very good or f of 0 is equal to 0 and then you can write. Second condition. One is okay. Second condition we should take left hand limit the body less than 0, greater than 0. Whether you check whether left hand limit is equal to right hand limit, other than limit exists, then then what you see that limit value and this value whether it is same, then you say it is continuous. Second condition is LH. Left hand limit you take in the left hand limit. Limit extending to limit extending to zero minus to first less than zero and then it is zero minus of f of x. So that is nothing but limit extending to zero minus of f of x and then we should take f of x x less than zero and then e function to go. It is two x x is zero have two into zero. This is this is your left hand limit. Understood? x less than 0 and 0 minus of f x. You should take this now. Now, r h is the only right hand limit you should take. In the right hand limit, we should consider limit extending to 2 plus 0 plus to go back. 0 plus and our greater than to go It is greater than 0 less than x and it is x greater than 0. 0 plus of what is that function? f of x is 0 actually limit extending to 
0 plus half f of x 0, which is c. See here, fortunately, left hand limit is equal to right hand limit. Whenever it is left hand limit is equal to right hand limit, it is seen that you should write, it is seen that LHL is equal to RHL. Left hand limit is equal to right hand limit. Left hand limit is equal to right hand limit. Very important question. Left hand limit, right hand limit, are therefore limit extending to 0 of f of x exists, exists and it is 0. What is the value? The left hand limit extending to 0 of f of x exists and it is z. Because left hand limit, right hand limit, 0 is equal to where where the grade is not continuous and you can say second condition failed. Now limit extending to 0 of f of x exists and it is equal to z. Now you should take whether this is equal to this. Definitely this is also 0, there is also 0. Now third condition is limit extending to 0 of f of x is equal to f of x limit extending to 0 of f of x is equal to f of x at x equal to 0 is 0 either 0 or 0 so now third condition also exists three conditions satisfied three conditions satisfied therefore when three conditions are satisfied, you can say you can say that the given function is the given function f x is continuous is continuous at x equal to zero is continuous at x equal to zero and x equal to zero is the point of continuity is the point of continuity. This is the first type. Okay. But we cannot because this question is not ruled out. They have not asked so far, but they may ask. So at x equal to 0, it is a continuous function. Now we should go for we have to go for checking continuity at x equal to 1. x equal to 1 we check point with 2 and right here at x equal to 1 we are taking the point of continuity. Okay. How to check the point of continuity here? At x equal to 1, first you see f of x at x equal to 1 exists or equal to 1, 0. So, first condition is f of x at x equal to 1 exists and f of 1 is 0. It is f of 1 is 0 because it exists equal to the one that, that is exists. Second condition will be, second condition is very important condition. You know that the second condition is Left, left hand limit is available. Second condition is your left hand limit. Left hand limit is limit extending to 1 minus the of f of x. Limit extending to 1 minus of f of x or it is limit extending to 1 minus of f of x. Less than 1 under it is 0. Less than 1 gain function is 0 or it is answer itself is 0. This is your left hand limit. 1 minus of 0, f of x is the 0, constant you cannot apply and it is 0. Now, go for right hand limit, RHL. Take the right hand limit, limit extending to 1 plus of f of x or it is limit extending to 1 plus of, you should take, which is the one, greater than 1 and 10, you should take this, it is 4x, the function is 4x, apply 1 here, 4 into 1, it is 4. See, this is your RHL, this is your left hand limit. This is not same. 0 but the 4, it is not same. So, what you can conclude is, left LHL is not equal to, seeing that LHL is not equal to RHL. So, second condition fails. Therefore, limit extending to 1 of f of x does not exist. It does not exist therefore second condition fail therefore you can write the given function the given function fx at x equal to 1 is not continuous is not very important discontinuous of course not continuous and the point of discontinuity x equal to 1 is the point of discontinuity 
x equal to 1 is the point of discontinuity. x equal to 1 is the point of discontinuity. So you understood all the three. Now here two points you check. One to zero check one to one check one to zero again. You will take this f of zero put in the zero. Zero minus less than two hundred two x to one apply one is zero. Right hand limit again x greater than zero less than x and x greater than zero zero. So both are same. Let's check if the RHL this limit exists and third condition this limit is equal to the function value zero zero. Therefore, it is continuous at x equal to zero. X equal to zero is the point of continuity. Here, at x equal to one, here at x equal to one, f of x at x equal to equal to put it as zero that exists. Left hand limit so only one minus is zero because left hand limit less than la y over one minus left hand limit we have taken and that is zero. But right hand limit so only four x so only function. 4 into 1, 4. LHL is not equal to RHL. Therefore, left hand limit is not equal to right hand limit. Therefore, limit extending to 1 of f of x does not exist. And this function is discontinuous. Third condition failed. Second condition failed. Is the point of discontinuity. x equal to 1 is the point of discontinuity. Okay. You understood? A very, very important problem. We will take. One more problem. I suppose you have copied. I repeat. The continuity of examine the continuity of f of x is equal to examine the continuity of f of x is equal to minus two if x less than or equal to minus one. Very important thing, take the problem correctly. f of x is equal to minus 2 less than if x less than or equal to minus 1. 2x if 2x if minus 1 less than or equal to x less than or equal to plus 1. If nothing is mentioned, it is plus 1 minus 1. n will under plus 1 it is. 2x if minus 1 less than x less than or equal to 1. Then 2 if 2 if x is greater than 2 is if x is greater than 1. Yes, this is very important problem. You may get it this year. March, to, March 2021, you may get it. It's a very important problem. Examine the continuity of the function fx minus 2 if x less than or equal to minus 1. 2x if minus 1 less than x less than or equal to 1. And 2 if x greater than 1. Yes. Now tell me how to check the continuity which are the points to be checked. Here 1 is less than or equal to minus 1. Minus 1 less than x and x greater than minus 1. So x equal to minus 1 is one point of continuity to be checked. Apart from it, plus 1 also. Less than 1 put there, greater than 1 put there. There are two points to be checked. You write that Continuity, continuity of fx to be checked, continuity of fx to be checked, to be checked at x equal to minus 1, 1 point minus 1 and at x equal to plus 1. Because greater than 1, less than 1. Point. So two points you have to check the continuity. 1 at x equal to minus 1 and at x equal to plus 1. So first at the body, first we will check the continuity at x equal to minus 1. First condition, f of x at x equal to minus 1, less than or equal to 1, whether it is defined, definitely f of minus 1 is minus 2. It is first condition satisfied because f of x at x equal to minus 1, is defined. He is defined, that's why it exists. That is, f of minus 1 is minus 2. Please understand here, L equal to the potential of, equal to the potential of, our function exists. f of minus 1 is minus 2. So, at x equal to minus 1 is defined. Next, we shall do, at LHL left hand limit, 
this is 1, this is 2. Now take the left hand limit. Left hand limit, LHL and left hand limit, we should take that is limit extending to minus 1, minus 1. You should take here minus 1, minus 1, left hand limit of fx, which is the function you take here. This is limit extending to minus 1 of minus 1 of f of x r to be bondre s star minus 1 you know you should take for left hand limit it is minus 2 you cannot apply limit for the constant minus 2 this is your left hand limit go for right hand limit go for your right hand limit write down the right hand limit limit extending to minus 1 plus you should take minus 1 plus and the other way you should take this one minus 1 less than or equal to x on that you know x greater than minus 1 and that other you should take 2x take that function is divide x greater than minus 1 is 2x x is substitute money 2 into minus 1 minus 2 see here the left hand limit is equal to right hand limit the LHL is the RHL you should write that LHL is equal to RHL is equal to this one minus 2. Therefore, limit extending to 1 by extending to minus 1 of f of x exists and it is 2. It is minus 2. Okay, because LHL, RHL, limit exists and it is equal to minus 2. So, limit exists but we have to check whether this is equal to this. Correct, because f of minus 1 is also minus 2. Third condition is limit extending to minus 1 of f of x is equal to f of x at x equal to minus 1 is equal to minus 2. Avella, you no limit to what the function exists. All three conditions satisfied. Write down all three conditions satisfied. Therefore, write down given function, write down given function fx at x equal to minus 1 is continuous, is continuous. You should write that given function f of x at x equal to minus 1 is continuous. So, that is the one thing you got. But what is the point of continuity? Point of continuity is point of continuity is x equal to minus 1. So, it is continuous at x equal to minus 1 and this is the point of continuity. Now, we shall take at x equal to, let us discuss at x equal to 1. Minus 1 I so at x equal to 1. Okay. Now, let us check whether it is continuous at x equal to 1. Take down first condition very easy equal to 1 nothing but the 2x it is. So, f of x at x equal to 1 is defined that is f of x is equal to 2x but f of 1 by 2 in way it is 2 into 1 it is 2 understood so f of 1 is defined at x equal to 1 it is 2x therefore f of x is 2x f of 1 is 2 into 1 it is 2 now, go for the second condition. I hope all of you have understood because we have solved lot of problems. I think you must have understood also. f of 1 is equal to 2, 2 into 1, it is 2. Now, go for LH, left hand limit. Left hand limit is limit extending to 1 minus of fx. What is the thing you take? Limit extending to 1 minus of fx. Now, the other left hand limit to less than 1 to the it is 2x. Understood? 1 minus less than the it is 2x or it is 2 into 1 or it is 2. Left hand limit is 2. RH and the right hand limit. Take down right hand limit. Right hand limit is limit extending to 1 plus. 1 plus and greater than 1 is f of x. Or it is with those with 1 plus and the power by the way. Limit extending to 1 plus of 2. You cannot apply that this also. 
So therefore, LHL is equal to RHL is equal to two. left hand limit and right hand limit both are same. Okay, you have taken down. Now you write. Yen bari bato ni mo. You should write that limit. Il bati dala limit. Since LHL equal to RHL is equal to two, you should write. Limit extending to what you should write is limit extending to one of f of x exists exists and that is equal to please understand here limit extending to one of f of x exists and it is equal to two so idu matte idu same you write down since limit extending to is barada the mele please write this take down limit extending to one Of f of x is equal to f of x at x equal to one is to what you should write limit. Yeah, let's have a little go. Limit extending to one of f of x is equal to f of x at x equal to one is equal to two. Given f x is continuous. Given function is continuous. At x equal to one, and x equal to one is the point of continuity. You should write that it is continuous at x equal to one, and x equal to one is the point of continuity. Because here we do what the value, function value are the same in both. Here two things to be checked: the minus one on the plus one, no? minus one, and all the three conditions satisfied, or plus one also, all the three conditions satisfied. And therefore, we are writing. So, what you can conclude is the function is continuous at x equal to minus one as well as at x equal to one. Both points of continuity, x equal to minus one and plus one are points of continuity. You should write conclusion in very well. Because here two cardinal it is continuous. It is continuous. X equal to minus one and one are point of continuity. Understood? Then a very important. For examination, I suppose you are happy. You also understood how to solve to prove that it is continuous function. I love this. Take this. Examine the continuity. Very important problem. I am expecting March 2021. This year we get it. Examine the continuity. Examine. The continuity of function f of x. We examine the continuity of the function f of x if f of x is equal to sine x by x, sine x by x, comma if x less than zero, if x less than zero, and x plus one, x plus one, if if x greater than or equal to zero. Yes. Examine the continuity of the function if f of x is equal to the trigonometric function sine x by x less than if x less than zero and x plus one if x greater than or equal to zero. Now. Here point we check under only one zero zero because this is less than zero greater than zero. And more a point in the middle, we have to check at x equal to zero. So write down the point of continuity, the point of continuity to be checked. The point of continuity. To be checked at x equal to zero. On the other point, though, at x equal to zero, we have to consider the point of continuity to be checked at x equal to zero. First, to you just see first condition, f of x equal to zero, put it down, put it down, because if constant the error value it is given. First condition, f of x at x equal to zero, it is mentioned, it is x plus one. f of zero is zero plus one, it is one. So the first condition you can write. First condition is the f of x uh, from f of x at 
x equal to 0 is defined. Or you can say exists or it is defined. That is f of x is x plus 1 to the power 0 equal to 100. f of 0 to the power it is 0 plus 1 or it is 1. Understood? At x equal to 0 whether it is defined. f of x is x plus 1. f of 0 is 0 plus 1 it is defined. Okay. Second condition. Second condition I told you we should take left hand limit and left right hand limit. LHL double A, LHL is first is limit extending to 0 minus to less than 0 is 0 minus of f of x. What is that f of x is less than 0 gay to limit extending to 0 minus of f of x is sin x by x. Last year you have learnt one important limit I told you limit theta tending to 0 of sin theta by theta is 1 Athwa limit extending to 0 of sin x by sin x is this limit is 1 it is a standard limit two limits I gave you last time one is trigonometric limit the other two are algebraic limits limit extending to a of x to the power of n minus a to the power of n by x minus a is n a to the power of n minus 1 so now we are not using that limit use trigonometric limit extending to theta tending to 0 of sin theta by theta is 1. This is 1. Now go for RHT. Right hand limit to body. Right hand limit to body. Limit extending to 0 plus to body. 0 plus. Ya to body ko greater than 0 to body ko 0 plus ke. X plus f of x and to body. Then next step you write. Limit extending to 0 plus of x plus 1, x is 0 or poly, 0 plus 1, it is 0. x is 0 or poly, it is 0 plus 1, sorry, 0 plus 1 is not 0, it is 1. Ready? Left hand limit, right hand limit same, L1. So LHL, it is observed that LHL is equal to RHL is equal to, you can write it is seen that the Bribodo from 1 and 2 the Bribodo. Whatever way you can construct the sentence, you can write. Left hand limit is equal to right hand limit. Therefore, it is 1. Therefore, what is the conclusion? Limit extending to 0 of f of x exists, that is, exists, and that is equal to 1. Limit extending to 0 of f of x exists, and it is equal to 1. Now you can see, Idu Matya, one the condition, same. Limit extending to 0 of f of x, so. But the f of x at x equal to 0, you have one value in there. You can write that limit, third condition, limit extending to 0 of f of x is equal to limit extending to 0 of, sorry, limit extending to 0 of f of x is equal to f of x at x equal to 0 is, I will one, I one day, do one. So, one do but the one condition one day again there. All conditions satisfied. You can write all conditions satisfied. The given function, write down the given function fx is the given function fx is continuous. Write down continuous. The given function fx is continuous at x equal to at x equal to 0, the given function is continuous at x equal to 0 and x equal to 0 is the point of continuity. What you should write? I am not writing that. You should write which is the point of continuity in the case of the You should write x equal to 0 is the point of continuity. Given function is continuous at x equal to 0 and x equal to 0 is the point of continuity. Okay, understood? It's a very important problem. So, x equal to 0 is a point of continuity. So, all the three are given here. Less than 0, 0 is the point of discontinuity. Either one is not a LHL, not a RHL, not a same is there. And the third one is the same is there value. So, it is continuous. Very important problem. So far, they have not asked this question. And maybe you have a chance to get this one in your examination. Now, you take up. This is a very important aspect. 
because many students won't understand in the engineering class what is continuous function. That's why I'm stressing and telling you the very important. If x not equal to zero and minus one if x equal to zero. Yes. If x equal to zero. Very important problem for examination. So take down this problem. Write down f of x is equal to sin x minus cos x if x uh, not equal to 0 and minus 1 if x equal to 0. You have to discuss the continuity of the problem. You have to discuss the continuity at x equal to 0. The point of continuity is a peculiar problem. Here no less than 0 greater than 0 particular. Other in the second condition, LHL, RHL question parada. Directly you can take not equal to 0 on the limit. Limit extending to 0 of this you calculate. First condition f of x at x equal to 0 is given. Check that whether that limit is equal to that function, other value works are not only. If it is so, you say here LHL, RHL question won't come. LHL and RHL question won't come. You should write down, question won't come. Okay. This will not come because no less than greater than 1. Ido yawa not greater than j, Ido not equal to the portray limit to equal to the portray function. That's all. Now you take the first condition is f of x at x equal to 0 defined. So f of 0 is minus Yelite condition, no? you should take second condition. Second condition is no LHL, RHL, whether straight away go for limit. So second condition is check whether limit extending to 0 of f of x. No minus plus because no less than greater than. This is equal to limit extending to 0 of extending to 0 of f of x and 3. Sin x minus cos x. Here you should write sin x minus cos x. In the x k 0 substitute what will be sin 0 minus sin 0 minus cos 0. It is understood. Sin 0 <coughs> cos 0. What is sin 0? 0. What is cos 0? 1. It is minus. See here. This limit, third condition also satisfied. This limit value is equal to the function value. Limit value is equal to the function value. You write that third condition. Limit extending to 0 of f of x is equal to f of x at x equal to 0 is equal to minus 1. Okay. Third condition satisfied. Third condition. Third condition satisfied. Therefore, all three conditions satisfied. Write down all three conditions. All three conditions satisfied. Therefore, write down given function f of x at x equal to 0. Given function f of x at x equal to 0 is continuous. You should write is continuous and Point of continuity is is at x equal to z. Point of continuity is x equal to z. Understood? Here, this is a peculiar problem I told you. In this particular problem, you need not go for second condition. Left hand, second condition go where go? But left hand limit, right hand limit, beka pila because less than greater than potila. Otherwise, only when left less than greater than Pandithra Matra that will come. Straight away go for limit. Extend it to 0. Yeah, not equal to 0 and Pottaro. This is limit. Almost equal to that. That is called limit. Limit extending to 0 of f of x. Sin x minus cos x minus 1. Here also f of x at x equal to 0 defined. Minus 1. Since these two are same, third condition satisfied. All three conditions are satisfied and the given function f of x is continuous at x equal to 0. Understood?
This is very important thing, very important question also for examination. So this is the uh, uh, continuity of the function f of x. Now we should take value of lambda, take this, this is important for what value of lambda for what value of lambda the function defined by the function defined by for what value of lambda the function defined by f of x is equal to lambda into x square minus 2x x square minus 2x if x less than or equal to 0 or 4x minus 1 if x greater than 0 is continuous is continuous at x equal to 0. For what value of this is continuous at x equal to 0? For what value of lambda this particular function is continuous at x equal to 0? You know here, stay multiplied is very easy here. If this problem, you should take, they have already given is continuous at x equal to 0 on the particular. When they are given, when it is continuous at x equal to 0 on the particular just to take left hand limit because one of the conditions for continuity is left hand limit should be equal to right hand limit. So limit of this 0 minus of this should be equal to 0 of this. Okay. How then you will get the value of lambda. That's very easy. So then you can understand for what value of lambda it is. You need not go for first condition because it is already mentioned that it is continuous. You should write right now since it is since given that, right now, since given that function fx, since given that function fx is continuous, since given that function fx is continuous at x equal to 0, since the given function fx is given that f of x is continuous at x equal to 0, LHL should be, is only the condition for moment of sir. that's all, because it is other three conditions, the gagila less than, greater than, put it that is limit extend into 0 of lambda into x square minus 2x should be equal to limit 0 minus, this should be minus, less than is always that, limit extending to 0 plus of, okay, 4x minus 1. Right hand limit. This fx is this. 0 minus of this left hand limit is equal to f of x should be equal to extending to 0 of f of x. Here, one peculiar thing happens. What is that is? If x is 0 substitute number, lambda into 0 square minus 2 into 0 is equal to 4 into 0 minus 1. That means lambda itself will go away. 0, 0. Lambda into 0 lambda won't exist at all. See, lambda won't come at all because this lambda into 0, 0. So here it will be lambda into 0 will be actually minus 1 or lambda does not exist. Lambda ne baro ne Lambda itre calculation mara meko. Lambda does not exist. What you can say, this is, this, this, this is the thing you should write. Lambda does not exist. So, for no value of lambda, you should this very important. You should write for no value of lambda, the given function, the given function, f x is continuous at x equal to zero. This is the one. This is right. very important for no value of lambda because a lambda ne exist You should write for no value of lambda, three LHL put all the body, such a body, for no lambda itself would come, for no value of lambda, the given function is continuous at x equal to 0. Okay. Understood how to do this? Same problem the body. Same problem the body. I take it down this problem. 
Now we will take the same problem, write down for what value of lambda the same function to take fx equal to another problem I am telling. Please take the problem. This is one problem. Similar problem you take for what value. This question is important. They are not asked in the examination. It is given in your textbook. So, okay. Now, for what value of lambda for what value of lambda the function defined by same thing fx equal to lambda into so much if x less than or equal to 0 4x minus 1 if the x greater than 0 is continuous at x equal to 1 same problem 0 beta is ready to take at x equal to 1 andre illa marbeko please change this you should not be like this you should work as at x equal to 1 kelidre you should write here x less than here it is x less than or equal to 1 x greater than 1 because continuous pentiravala please write down this particular thing you should write x less than 1 and x yes x less than or equal to 1 x greater than 1 x 0 x is ok 0 now same thing Take that since it is continuous at x equal to 1, you write down left hand limit is equal to right hand limit and equate you get the value of lambda. Only lambda cancel out, you get since the given function, write down since the given function fx is continuous, since the given function is fx is continuous at x equal to 1 the given function fx is continuous at x equal to 1 ok at x equal to 1 LA then in the very second condition mathal kavali LHL is equal to right hand limit is equal to left hand right hand limit or limit extending to 1 minus of f of x should be equal to limit extending to 1 plus of so here left hand limit should be equal to right hand limit. So here limit extending to 1 minus of fx and less than lambda into x square minus 2x is equal to limit extending to 1 plus of f of x. f of x x greater than 1 and you should take 4x minus 1. Take that left hand limit and right hand limit. I hope you have understood. Left hand limit is already, right hand limit is already equal to left hand limit x to 1 minus x to 1 plus 1. Now substitute x equal to 1 minus 1 ala 1 matra. So lambda into 1 square minus 2 into 1 is equal to here 1 half only. 4 into 1 minus 1 or it is in the lambda over lambda over cancel here lambda into 1 minus 2 minus 1 this is 1 minus 2 is equal to 4 minus 1 3 is or lambda is equal to 3 by minus 1 or it is minus 3 so lambda value is minus 3 when it is continuous at x equal to 1 but in the problem was given if it is continuous at x equal to 0 for no value of lambda the function is continuous at x equal to 0 because lambda error, lambda won't exist you should write that for no value of lambda the given function is continuous at x equal to 0 but at x equal to 1 for lambda is equal to minus 3 the given function is continuous you should write given function is continuous at x equal to 1 ok for what value? Lambda is equal to by suppose it is a question 2 and the put on the put. Check at x equal to 2, it is 2 more to be. It is 2 more to be. It is 2 to substitute part is the same thing. Okay. So you can work out and tell me same problem you can take for what value please practice for what value of lambda take down for what value of lambda. How to taking this problem? For what value of lambda? Same thing you can take lambda 2 square minus 2 
Ah, here also because don't want I don't want it uh, too bad also because two square two into two into a four zero for no value of lambda one but there you can take I think three to go for that two into three three nine yes three for what value of lambda the given function defined by this lambda into seven x x less than or equal to three x greater than three is continuous at x equal to two please do this do this problem okay and this problem can be done and take it and practice well this is how we should calculate the limit now we will take one small problem and we will end with that and tomorrow we shall continue in my next class we shall continue about <coughs> The other continuation of important problems. Afterwards, we will go for a fresh chapter, application of derivatives. In application of derivatives, you have got five topics, five subtopics. One is tangent and normals. Second one, rate measure. Third one, approximation. The fourth one, increasing decreasing functions. Fifth one is uh, your maximum minimum i think there you have got application of derivatives uh, you will have one five more question will be there y plus uh, then 5 10 some 13 more questions will be there in the application of derivative okay this problem you take this problem and let me see will you try this and tomorrow don't know i will teach you find the right out of The relationship. Please try. Let me see. I will give you hint also. Find the relationship. Find the relationship between A and B. Find the relationship between A and B so that find the relationship between A and B so that f of x is equal to a x plus one. Mama, if x less than or equal to three, if x less than or equal to three, and b x plus three, b x plus three, if x greater than, ah, very important question, important. You can get it here also. Find the relationship between a and b so that f of x is equal to a x plus one if x less than or equal to three. B x plus three if x greater than three. I have just given you hint, and tomorrow we shall continue. I will tell you how to do this problem. Here, again I will tell you, this is a continuous function. Let me show that find relation so that ah you should know so that f of x is ah continuous problem is continuous at x equal to this value. So find the values of a and b so that this function is like this, so that the function f of x is continuous at x equal to three. Given at x equal to three, it is continuous. I'll give you a hint. L H L is equal to R H L. Left hand limit is this. You should take extending to three minus of f of x. Take a x plus one. Then that limit is equal to right hand limit extending to three plus of this. You should take substitute for x three only. Only three substitute for d. Then get the value here. Get the terms of y and b. Y is equal to what is the relationship between the b? B are cut at the table. Y is cut at the table. You solve that. You try that. You will get what is the y thing you should take. So you should take that. Given that the function is continuous at x equal to tomorrow, we shall do this at x equal to three. It is continuous at x equal to three. Therefore, left hand limit is equal to right hand limit. Substitute mod y. Find the relationship between the A and B, and that's enough for today. And tomorrow we shall continue with other important uh, problems, continuous functions. Afterwards, we shall take up the, as I said, application derivatives, a very important topic, which contains thirteen, fourteen, thirteen, uh, fourteen marks. Yes, you can do it. Okay, thank you all.